Assalamualaikum. Okay, so for today, we're going to proceed with chapter 1, which is uh, the stimuli and responses. So before this, we have looked at the stimuli and responses in human. Okay, so for today, we're going to do an experiment about uh, the stimuli and responses in plants. Like human and animals, plants also can detect stimuli and respond towards them. So the types of uh, stimuli that can be detected by plants are light, water, gravity and also touch. So the responses of plant can be uh, divided into two which are the tropism and also the nastic movement. Okay, so what is tropism? So tropism is a directional response of plant toward a certain stimuli. So certain parts of plant will respond toward a certain direction of that stimuli. Okay, so the part of plant which grows towards the stimulus is called as positive tropism while the part which uh, moves away from the stimulus is called negative tropism. Okay, so let us uh, do an experiment to study the direction of response of plants towards light, uh, water, gravity and also touch.
Okay, so there's another stimulus that can be detected by plants but not investigated in experiment 1.1 which is tigmotropism. Okay, so tigmotropism is a response towards starch. So you can see that tendrils or twinning stems show positive tigmotropism when they cling into whatever object or other plants they come into contact with. This uh, tigmotropism enables plants to grow upwards to obtain sunlight and also to grip objects to obtain support. Okay, while well, the roots will show negative tigmotropism since they avoid any object that obstructs their search for water. Okay, boys and girls, so don't forget to refer to your textbook and also this video before you start doing your experiment so that you can uh, follow the suitable and appropriate procedure. Okay? Good luck with your experiment and don't forget to share your result with me and also with your friends. Bye! Assalamualaikum!